This young man is a smart, heady athlete. He likes to attack downhill. I think he can be a person that has the ability to make a huge difference, not only today, but all season long for the Ducks. Roberson straight ahead before he's pushed backward by Troy Dye. Is anyone going to give Troy Dye a little credit for his uh, the nifty footwork there on the sideline with the interception? Because he's been killing me in the locker room about playing tight end, so I thought you guys might want to get it out of the way now, you know. Troy Dye maybe making a push to be a two-way player in the Pac-12 Conference. Appreciate you stopping by with us here. All right, we're going to see you on offense or what? I've, I've been pushing it, like Chris Ball said. I mean, I've really been pushing it. I've been asking for different packages, whether it be a jumbo package or something, but I always get the no, or maybe next week, or I'm putting it in, I'm putting it in. Just wait, just wait. So we'll see, hopefully. All right, I, maybe, maybe we see it this weekend, potentially. Huge matchup hopefully. for you guys. All right, uh, I, I got to ask you, it's a selfish question because I'm a fan and I get to watch the games every single Saturday and the Friday ones that take place as well. You guys are on the bye, and I know when you guys are playing, you're probably not as focused in on some of those other matchups. Something tells me you probably got a glimpse of Stanford at some point over the last two weeks. They've obviously dropped their games. What's it like? I asked some of our guys on set, but from your you, you play, what's it like knowing that you had that game and then you see them and the way that they've played over these last two? I mean, it, it hurts. I mean, it definitely does. I mean, you got to just because you see the, the end result that you wanted happening for other teams. But I mean, at the end of the day, it didn't ha go the way we wanted to go. So we just have to move on and just uh, bury that hatchet and just keep moving forward and just keep uh, battling each week. Troy, we spent some time, Curtis and Yogi, uh, earlier here on the show. We're going to talk more about this particular matchup that you're going to take part in against Washington. But you've been a part of some of these losses these last two years, and they haven't been necessarily, necessarily pretty from an Oregon perspective. How much do you think about what has transpired against the Dogs these last two seasons? Um, I think about my freshman year loss the most, the 70-21 one. I, I always think about it, to be honest with you. It's always in the back of my head because you, you never want to lose to a team that way, and especially in a rivalry game like this. So I always kind of think about it, and it's always a, a motivation for me. But I think uh, this year's team, I mean, we're all kind of focused on, on the one goal and just become 1-0 and each, each week. So we're not really worried about too much of all the outside noise and hippity hoopla. We're kind of just focused on the, the, this week and the matchup against Washington. I heard a rumor that you actually have like a headline in your locker room from that matchup from your freshman year. Is that accurate? Yeah, it is. I, I, right after the game, I wrote the score in my locker, and, and that was that, and it's been there ever since. Okay, so that, uh, that is very true. It's no longer a rumor. So you are thinking about it every single time you hit yeah. the field and get ready for, for uh, a matchup. I, explain to me, too, because Washington has been called the best defense in the Pac-12 Conference, one of the best defenses in the entire country. Coach Cristobal has preached this, this physicality. Do you and your teammates in this defensive unit look at this op as this game as an opportunity to showcase just how far you guys have come? We look, we look at every game to showcase how far we've come as a defense because we know the whole country looks at Oregon as an offensive school, as a powerhouse, uh, explosive play, making offense that's always scoring touchdowns and just putting up big numbers, and the defense just has to get one or two stops. So we're, we go out every game and try to just prove that this is a defensive school as well, and we play, we play all three phases of football around here. I'm sure Nick Aliotti somewhere is smiling as he's watching the show, hearing what you're saying about that. UW's offense, I'm going to ask Curtis and Yogi to take us through this in, in just a second here, but I want to get your take. What are the challenges that they present? I mean, they present a, a, a whole lot of a challenges. I mean, they're the number, uh, number ranked seven team in the nation for a reason. Uh, they have great backs, and Miles Gaskin and the backup, I forget his name, number 26, but he's a great back as well. Uh, they have a great offensive line. They all move really well. I mean, starting with their center, who is really athletic and, and is a physical blocker up front. And they have just all types of weapons at the receiver, at the receiver spot. So it's going to be a tough matchup all day for us there, too. And they also have uh, big physical tight ends that they utilize well. So, I mean, they have a lot of different things that happen. So and a lot of different moving pieces that go around different shifts and trades. So we just have to go out there and just play cool and calm and just play our game. Troy, I think one of the cooler stories this season in the Pac-12 is the fact that you get to play football with your brother. What's that experience been like? <laughs> Oh, it's it's definitely been surreal. I mean, like you said, it's super unique, and not many men, uh, not many people get to do it. But I mean, I just go out there every day and just just grateful for our opportunity that we have, and I'm just super happy that I get to see him every day because I mean, not most people get to see their family every day, so I get to see somebody from my family every day, no matter what day it is. I mean, no matter the time of the year, I know I'm going to see his face in the morning because we have workouts or or breakfast check or something. So I know I'm going to be able to see him, and it's been super fun. 
Troy, you know I got your back, right? So this is not a trap question that's coming your way. I just want to preface it first. You just told me what it's like to, to play with your brother and how cool that is. I was at an opportunity in August to see you guys practice, and I talked to some people about Justin Herbert, and people were saying, look, I, he wants to play with his brother. He's going to be on campus. He's not going to go to the NFL. I'm not going to ask you about that. What I want to know is, do you have conversations with Justin about what this experience has been like for you? Oh, yeah, no, most definitely. Me and Justin talk all the time, and we're really close. We have conversations about all types of different things. Um, but, yeah, that's, that, that's definitely one thing I, I talk to him about because he, he works with Travis on a daily basis because he's a running back, so Justin's a quarterback, so they work together on a daily basis. But, I mean, I talk to that dude about uh, almost everything. Okay, so then this is definitely a, a trap question. Is he coming back then? That That's a question you have to leave <laughs> up to him. And, uh I can't release any information that I have on that. <laughs> okay, so we, we will throw that to the side. Maybe, look, yeah. it's just me and you talking. Don't even worry about the camera or any yeah. of that stuff. Hey, so. I, I'm not saying, I understand that. We're, we're just us, I understand. I yeah, no, 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 small, small group, small group of however many people that are watching this show. You, you can say hi to my mom for me if you'd like as well. And mm -hmm. I know Yogi and Curtis's family is watching. Uh, Troy, really do appreciate you stopping by with us, man. Best mm -hmm. of luck not only this week, but the rest of the season. We can't wait to see you guys uh, ball out the rest of the way. And who knows? I mean, we made a case for you guys if you went out. Maybe you guys are one of those final four teams. Yeah, hopefully, man. That's, that's our goal, and that's, that's what we're fighting for.